All right, guys, as you know, I give subscribers every single day. So if you want this brand new gold Oro skin, make sure you guys have subscribed notifications on and left your epic ID down below so I can add you guys. All right, so as you guys probably know, Legacy is now gone, which is probably what a lot of you guys watching this were using. And now the new settings are just completely confusing. And honestly, it's confusing for everybody. Don't worry, it's not just you. There's a lot of like nonsense in there and it just doesn't really make sense. So I'm gonna try and help you guys Go through it, understand it, and figure out what's best for you. So basically, the most important setting, you're going to want to come all the way over to the controller and then all the way down. This is literally the main setting. I don't know why it's all the way down here, but it's the look input curve and whether you want linear or exponential. Now, personally, I play on linear, um, but I'm going to show you guys like what that means, basically. So basically, when I'm turning, it's all the same speed, whether I'm standing still and I'm turning right away, it's always gonna be the same speed no matter what. Um, even if you have a gun out, it doesn't matter. Like you can see, going the same speed no matter how slight my movement is on my thumbstick or how long I hold it. Now, if we go over to exponential, which is what, if you were on Legacy before, basically Legacy was a form, like the, it had an exponential look input curve. So you might be used to this, um, but You'll see it's kind of hard to show you kind of have to do it um, yourself if you really want to feel the difference. But basically, if you if you just tap your thumbstick lightly, it, it goes a little bit slower and then it'll start going faster. So it'll ramp up a little bit. So the reason that it does that is because when you first go to aim down sight on somebody, it's going to be a little bit slower, you know, so it, it's a little bit easier to aim. But if you're trying to go over it quickly, you can still get over it quickly. Now, if you want to understand what I'm talking about, it's really best if you just go into creative and try it. Like the, the most noticeable way I can feel it is when I'm like doing this sort of thing where you do like a double edit because you, you'll notice you have to like move your thumbstick way more to get those like two squares up right away or linear. It's super easy. All right, so real quick, I'll go through my settings one more time. Then we'll look at some pro player settings. Um, as you can see here, if you're on linear, you want all the boosts off, all the ramp times off, because that's like the point of linear. Now we'll look over at some pros, and here you are. Here's Innocence, Aiden, and Lecce. Innocence is like the most consistent controller competitive player, in my opinion. So I definitely go to him to look at his settings. Aiden's obviously really cracked, really talented, and his movement and uh, his aim and everything is always really good. So I like looking at him as well, and he does pretty well in tournaments. And Lecce's probably like the best European controller player and he qualified for World Cup and a bunch of stuff like that. So I like looking at him too. You guys can see that everybody plays between like 40 and 45, I would say for the most part, even including other people as well. Um, so you want to stay in that range and kind of depending how you feel personally. I think Innocence build mode and edit mode's a little high. Like that's why I'm in the middle of like both of Aiden. Um, so I, I would say you want around a two. That's just my opinion. You can see the ADS, everyone's between 10 and 15 as well. Um, and a lot of people play between like 10 and 11 to be honest. So I'd probably go more around there. And you'll see the one weird thing is Lechi. He uses horizontal boost. And that's so he can have like really accurate aim when he's first ADSing and he's just doing super slight movements. Um, that his, his aim assist and his aim in general is gonna feel like way better because it's so slow, but if he's trying to turn fast, he's got that little bit of boost to help him out. So he's kind of almost trying to get like the benefits of exponential. And he plays on a really high build. I don't know how he plays that. I'm guessing to make up for a little bit low of a look horizontal vertical speed. So yeah, if you're on linear, you definitely want some settings kind of like these. All right, guys. So if you want to play on exponential, which is closer to legacy, which you're used to, honestly, I would firstly suggest you just at least copy unknowns at first and start with that and then tweak it to your liking but unknown I know has put a lot of time and effort into figuring out what is like the best settings what works the best what gives them the most advantage and he used to play on legacy up until this uh, recent update where they took it out so would definitely recommend looking at unknowns um, what's interesting to me is there are some difference, differences between these um, but they do have the turning boost ram time both at point 20, which is um, basically how long it takes until the boost kicks in. And the, the one difference is that unknown as instant boost when building and CRR does not. So that's kind of interesting to me. 
um, I would think you would want it on uh, just because and then it kind of gets you it, it doesn't mess up your builds as much you can see their ADS is still 16 and one also one quick mention you're gonna notice that their look horizontal and vertical are much higher than people on linear because it slows down for them automatically to begin with so they need to play a little bit higher to be able to turn faster after the fact and uh, you can see their look dampening time is both on zero so they don't want any added um, delay between the already exponential curve and they both play on 10 8 uh, dead zone one thing that's wrong is that unknown actually plays with enable foot controller off and to be honest I'm not exactly sure what it does I heard that it's like a delay in between when you start like fully sprinting so I think you want it off and unknown actually does have it off and not on I screwed up the screenshot all right, now I'll quickly run through some of my other settings to see if there's anything uh, significant. I already had that 1920, I think I accidentally changed it. Um, but we got everything low. You want V-Sync off, you want motion blur off. If you're on console, do. Um, usually I show FPS on, direct X. I would do DX11, DX12 was screwing thing up, game up, I was crashing a lot more. I'm allow multi-third rendering. And yeah, so that's PC, so some of you guys may not have that. Um, Go through these real quick. Don't want this. You guys can just probably copy all these. I actually recently put on auto open doors. I think it's kind of useful. Um, what's a big one? Auto pick up weapons. I like that. Auto sport. Except building. I would make sure you guys have, I think, matter. Um, I don't like confirm edit on release, but if you use single edit binds, it might be worth it. I use double edit binds, which we'll get into in a second. So I don't like this, but if you single edit, it might be worth getting used to. And tap this is a big one if you don't have this on make sure you turn um and let's see that hud scale put it down 100 like get i put mine at 70 make sure you put it down because if you go from 70 to 100 you realize how big it is everything is on you can put on the net debug stats if you ping not on by default we have the mouse settings and I showed all the controllers, this is the main one. And all of these, so you want 3D headphones on 100% makes a really big difference. Um, oh, what else we got? That's, and the binds. Now this is a pretty important thing nowadays. If you wanted to have instant edits, you wanna have your switch mode and edit differently. We have a battle beaver controller so my my right d-pad is actually a button on the back of my controller um and not i don't actually click the right d-pad it's a button on the back so that's why i have that there and then see there's no hold to edit just the edit you definitely want that um i have sprint by default on so i don't need l3 but if you do not have like a battle beaver what i use i think it's the best custom controller out there i have a discount code too it's code cold side you want 10 percent off i know the things going on right now so it might be a little bit delayed but definitely look into doing it if you play like a lot of fortnite or you play a lot of video games in general but anyways if you don't have one of these custom controllers i would make your l3 edit and then keep your circle and switch mode um but other than that yeah see all that there i like my traps on r3 instead of square it's easier to press and then taking my finger off the joystick so that's a good one then i rotate with the touchpad i recommend doing that too if you can get used to it and then i have l2 as reset and l1 confirmed having my l1 confirmed helped a lot with uh, the quickness of like double edits and stuff so i would recommend doing this if you can get used to it play some edit courses and stuff definitely think it's worth and then you got the dead zone obviously this is dead zone's actually big it, it actually affects your how your sensitivity feels a lot so Make sure you guys are copying the dead zone too from other people if you're copying their sense you want to be using. And yeah, that's about it. So if you guys have any questions about the settings or anything like that, feel free to let me know in the comments. So yeah, basically in conclusion, if you want flashy building, editing, flashy shots and all that kind of stuff, I'd use linear. Um, it's a lot more fun to use in my opinion and that's why I've stuck with it. But if you're going, like super try hard, you're serious, you're trying to be in competitive or you're just trying to get something close to legacy, your old settings and you want a better shot and stuff like that, then I would just go with the exponential settings. I would copy unknowns because CRRs is kind of crazy and unknown 
He doesn't look like the flashiest player. He doesn't look like the best mechanically gifted player, but he's really smart and he knows the settings well. So I would just go with unknowns if all else fails. If this video just made you even more confused, then just use unknown settings. Just copy them directly and you'll be good to go. But yeah, make sure you guys drop a like if this helped you out. would appreciate it a lot. Subscribe and leave your epic down in the comments if you want to be gifted a skin in the future. I gift my subs all the time, like I said. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys soon with another one. All right, peace out.